Hallelujah. We're going to move on. We have our graduates. I, I can see them in the back hall, and we're here to celebrate them on today. Amen. Truly, God has done something wonderful in their lives. We have family members that are here to help them celebrate. Um, God is good. God is good. You look at the statistics, amen, as far as our inner city schools and in other schools, when it comes to our students, uh, they try to say that the statistics are not favorable. But y'all about to see something when these beautiful young people walk down this aisle. I done already got a glimpse of some of their achievements, and we're going to make the devil out of a loud today because what God has done for these graduates, amen, you're going to be amazed. But at this time, without further ado, I want to welcome and I want to introduce and present to you Kansas City Community Church 2016 graduates. Can we stand? <laughs> Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord, saints. Amen. Can we put our hands together one more time for these graduates? Y'all know what it's like to go through a lot, all those years of school and all the headaches and heartaches from the teachers to the, your parents making sure you do what you're supposed to do, but they made it. It was a hard, I know it was a hard struggle, and it was just, what, two, three, four years ago, Pastor Charles, when we graduated. So we, uh, we know what it feels like. But I'm proud of each and every last one of these young men and women. And there's some other ones that wasn't able to make it this morning. And we had some, some college graduates and some people that went back to school and, and furthered their education. And I just think that's, that's a wonderful thing because y'all not getting me to go back to school for nothing. So once again, congratulations to our graduates. Stay standing up, Kyle. Stay standing up because your last name is Adam. So guess who goes first? Hey. Amen. You know what? I was going to let your mama do this because you her son, but I think I'm going to take over this one right here. First, we have Kyle A Ali Adams. whose parents is Valencia and uh, Abbas Adams. Kyle graduated from Sumner Academy. Uh, um, Sumner Academy. Kyle is a Kaufman Scholar, the MLK, and he's late, once again, uh, MLKJ scholarship recipient. Um, Kyle in the fall is gonna be uh, attending Missouri State to receive his bachelor's in computer information systems, then later to go to um, 
culinary school, y'all know Cal can cook and he can bake. So once he gets done with getting his computer stuff out the way, he's going to come back and make sure that we all eat good here at the church. So y'all be prepared for that. So once again, can we put our hands together for Cal Adams? And if y'all wondering why you don't have on his hat, it's because if y'all saw him at graduation Thursday, it didn't fit. It just sat on top of his head. Amen. Next, we have Tariq Adams. Uh, he went to Liberty High School. His uh, grandparents on here, we have Arnold and Shirley Adams. She's on the varsity basketball as a center, 3.0, great average. Uh, attended Sunday school, was part of the church choir, grew up in the youth ministry group, and Tariq plans to join the military. He wants to study to be an architect. Is that what that means? An architect. All right. Come on now. Come, come. Next we have Malisha K. Jordan. AKA, I call her MJ. Uh, Malisha is, um, her mom is Keisha Jordan. She graduated from Sumner Academy. Just Thursday, I seen her too. I was at the graduation and she was all prepared to do her thing as she came down as her hair is not the same, y'all, but Thursday, it was all over the place. It was luscious. Yeah, she had luscious hair on Thursday night. MJ, I call her MJ, y'all, because she's, you know, she's a baller, and her, and her initials is um, MJ. But she's, she's going to be attending, um, is it, uh, what is it, uh, Missouri State, Missouri, Missouri Valley in basketball, in a basketball sc scholarship to study and uh, to be a nurse, a nurse practitioner. So she going one step below a doctor, she's going to be an MP. I don't know if I would allow M M uh, MJ to work on in, uh, myself or any of you here. But hopefully once she gets done, she'll be prepared to do that. So once again, put your hands together for Malisha Jordan. Next we have Alexandria Barnes, known as Allie. <laughs> she also graduated from Sumner Academy. Parents, Donna Stansel. Uh, she was Miss S.A. Jabberwalk. Uh, varsity swimming, and she'll be attending the University of Arkansas and studying nursing. Next we have Darian Michael Lewis, <laughs> Big D. Darian graduated, from, well, he will be graduating from Lawrence Free State uh, on Tuesday. Uh, his parents is uh, Stacy Sexton and Adrian and Chante Lewis. Chantel, excuse me, Chantel Lewis. Uh, this summer he will start classes uh, with the interest in athletics training and kinesiology. See, he's got stuff that I can't even pronounce. On, athle on the athletic scholarship at Hudson Community College. I know Darian as a big basketball player and football player, and if y'all look at him, look how big he is. He's somebody I didn't want to stand in front of if I had the football. But he'll, he's using that talent to go to college for a college so they can pay for his college so he can study kinesiology. You can tell me afterwards what that means. Um, but Darian is a well-mannered young man who, since he was little, since I've been watching since he was little, he grew up real, real, real fast and outgrew me. But his grandma, his parents, I mean his aunts, Everybody here knows who he is, and I'm just proud of this dude, so I just want him to keep doing what he's doing. So put your hands together one more time for Darian Lewis. Uh, we have Sharon Barry Davis, uh, Master's of Science in Criminology. He's not here, but Mika Barry is his parent, and Sister Barry, grandmother. Sharon did a whole bunch of stuff right. in college, y'all. <laughs> Yay, Sharon! 
So we can put our hands together one more time for Sharon Barry Davis. Our next college soon to be graduate is Israel Christian Lompkins. Once again, uh, Israel will be graduating on Tuesday from Lawrence Free State. And his parents are Gary and Crystal Lompkins. He has a lot of things down here, but I'm going to talk about a couple of them. Now, I know he's in the National Honor Society, the Martin Luther King Jr. Award, Excellence in Lawrence, K-State Memorial Scholarship, K-State, uh, what's that, the Multicultural Engineering Program, the MAPS, and KCC, media, he's on the KCC media team. If y'all look around, look to y'all right, y'all see his daddy and y'all see what he does with these cameras, the videos and stuff. That's how we get all, a lot of the stuff, these videos that we have on, on the internet and stuff because his dad takes care of that so it looks like he's following in his footsteps. But I know him as a big soccer player. Yeah. He can get down in some soccer. I didn't get to make it to none of his games and stuff but I saw some highlights on uh, Metro Sports and stuff and yeah, he can get down in soccer. My feet are nowhere near that fast. I don't know about Brother Lumpkins, but Sister Lumpkins look like she can move pretty quick. <laughs> but um, he's he's planning to attend. Um, I, it's, I don't know, what school is it? He's not. It doesn't say, but he's gonna whatever college he's gonna um, attend. K State, K State, and mechanical and uh, electrical engineer. It's a small young man, y'all. We got to keep praying for each and every one of them. So put our hands together one more time for Israel Christian Lumpkins. Next we have Anita Easterwood. <laughs> <laughs> Parents are Rodney and uh, Kathleen Easterwood. She has her Master's of Arts in African American uh, Studies. She's accomplished uh, member of the Delta Sigma Theta Sorority Incorporated. Uh, her future plans, she plans to work with a program that works closely with urban students and assist them with college preparation and also plans to continue to serve Kansas City community. <laughs> Woo -hoo! Next we have our youngest graduate, um, Sister Annette Morgan. Sister Netta graduated from Ashford University with a bachelor's in healthcare administration. I told her when she was getting it, when she was filling this out, I was gonna get her, but I'm gonna let her slide today because it's sunny outside. But her future plans, are, she said she would love to own her own office, um, revamping the comp uh, companies that may, um, may that that needs help and to make office more efficient. So she knows what she's doing. She went to school for this and I believe she worked in it when she was in uh, Atlanta, correct? So if y'all need any help, there she is. Our youngest graduate, Sister Ned Morgan. Next we have Dr. Lauren Easterwood. <laughs> She graduated from K-State University in the College of Veterinary Medicine, the Doctorate of uh, Veterinary Medicine. Luana Wer is her mother, and she has so many accomplishments as well. Oh, did you write this down? Okay, okay. But she already got the doctor handwriting. Um, member of the Alpha Kappa Alpha Sorority Incorporated. <laughs> and let's see, 2014 NIH. Can't read the rest of it. It's in veterinary research scholar. All right, Dr. Lauren Easterwood. Our next graduate is Michael Alvino Payton. I think somebody over there knows him. He is a graduate from Leavenworth High School. His, his dad, Mark Payton, and his mom, Don Seahorn. Y'all see why she's in the uh, praise team. Those lungs. Um, Mike, is, uh, Mike has a lot of accomplishments on his, on his paper and stuff, but some of the ones that really stand out to me is that Mike is a really smart young man. 
He excels in school and his grades and stuff, but he's a really, really big basketball player, y'all. Look how tall he is. He's just not tall for, for no reason. He can get down. I showed him a little something. We went to Atlanta. They found out what I was about, and he's like, Brother Danny, you know, I got mad respect for you. He didn't say it like that, but that's what I heard him say in my mind. Is that's, that's what I heard him say in my mind. But Mike can get down in basketball for real, y'all. He is going to be a great, great asset to whatever team he goes and plays for. I don't, I'm not sure exactly what college he's decided on because he has a few that he's still looking into. But Mike is going to school to play basketball, and I believe he's going to use that talent to pay for him to go to school. Um, and he's studying to become a heart surgeon, y'all. A heart surgeon. When he told me this, it blew my mind because – Look through the NBA, through any, any, any athletic career, and tell me, do you know any athlete, uh, athletes that are heart surgeons? Well, y'all looking at the first here. Amen. So put your hands together one more time for Michael Alvino Payton. Um, just to talk about that, um, Danny would uh, make a shot and then substitute one of the younger brothers out, just so you know <laughs> he didn't stay in very long. <laughs> She is telling the truth. Since we are in church, I'm going to back that up because I would make a shot and run off and say, come get me. Let me catch my win again. This next recipient, y'all, is uh, kind of close to my heart. Um, he's been dating my daughter for about five or six years. He's a good, good young man. I know his parents. I know his grandparents. His name is Jordan Alexander Smallwood. Some of his accomplishments back when he was in high school, he was a high school football quarterback. He don't look like he can be the quarterback because if he jumps off that step, he might hurt himself because he's not that tall. But I love that dude. He's a, he's a great athlete, but he's an even better student. He was in the National Honor Society when he was in high school and stuff, and then he went on to Kate, Kansas University to graduate with a bachelor's in journalism and minor in um, mass communication. His parents are uh, Rabia O'Neill and Terrence Smallwood. And his future plans are to uh, work in TV and radio. And when I say work in TV and radio, y'all, I'm serious about this. The talent this guy has is through the roof. So look for him. He'll be out there. Jordan Alexander Smallwood. And last but not least, we have Big John Heed. <laughs> That's his grandma. Uh, John graduated from Leavenworth High School along with Mike. Um, his, his parents, Jackie Heath, and you know his grandparents, brother and sister Heath. Uh, he played varsity football. Work, he works with the he works with the media team. He played football, and he's planning on going to uh, to Highland Community College to play football. He's a really soft-spoken kind of guy and stuff. But those are the guys that will eat your lunch on the football field because they'll be so nice and soft. And that's okay. I'm not going to hurt you. <laughs> and when the foot when the quarterback hikes the uh, when the the what's name hikes the ball to that quarterback, he's looking at him like they go lunch. So don't let that smooth, soft space fool you because when he get in college, look out. Amen. John Heath. <laughs> Rachel McCoy wasn't able to make it today. She is another graduate. I believe Rachel graduating from uh, Blue Valley West High School. Y'all know little Rachel over there. She's quiet. I believe she's planning. I think she's attending plan to attend it's a couple of different colleges her mom and dad won't let her go far she's only this big and but she says she wants to go I think to Florida or or and uh, Tennessee she was like she's trying to get way away I'm like not around the corner yeah so but she she talked about it when we went to NIYC where she wants to go to college but she's another smart really smart young lady her dad and her mom are really intelligent people so even though she's not here, can we put our hands together for Rachel McCoy? Once again, these are our graduates of 2016. 